I'd never know when a note would show up underneath the door. Sometimes it would be seven notes in a month. Other times it would be one note every few months. But I loved each one of them. Some of them I kept, most of them I didn't. But now reading them, I love them. I love that he was thinking of me. I understand as a mother how busy life is. It just does not slow down. So the fact that he wrote a note saying, I'm thinking of you, that's the greatest gift a parent can give. June 18th, 1995. Today is Father's Day. I want you to know how deeply grateful I am to be your dad. As you grow, I see remarkable women emerging, kind, loving, and lovely. I see a caring mother in the making, a community leader who others naturally follow. I see a person who is able to feel spiritual things and discipline herself to keep the commandments. You are a wonderful friend to me. I'm so proud of you and the type of person you are. I love you, Dad. You know, I wish I would have kept more of the letters. That's It's one of those things that you just read and feel good at the moment and then toss by, you toss away. And luckily I've kept a few. And the ones that I keep actually, they, they mean a great deal when I read them, when I read them at the time that he's written them. But it always seems that even later on, years later, they mean more. October 28th, 1994, Anne Marie. Last night when you were in bed, when I got home, and this morning I must leave for an early meeting. Mother told me how dedicated and effective you are at preparing for your tests. I am so very proud of you. Not just because you care about your studies, but simply because of the type of person you are. You have become my example of personal discipline, kindness, and keeping the commandments. I love you more than it's possible to say with words. Marching side by side in life's parade. Just being with my dad makes me want to be a better person. He's kind and gentle, and that makes me want to be more kind and more gentle. Everywhere we go, he's interested in anyone, anyone's lives. I remember we were driving in a cab, and he asked the cab driver, tell me about you. Just being around him, that's, that's the man he is. He just lives a life of faith. Through his example, I've been able to be a better woman. Forever.